with anxiety, the the patient that's anxious, you know, you have to take a kind of catered approach to the patient. Then the most important thing is figuring out why. Why, where is the anxiety coming from? And nine times out of 10, you will get the response, you know, I was six, seven years old and I went to a dentist and I told him I was feeling everything when he was working on me, but he just kept working. So that will key me in to say, all right, if you do feel something, let the patient know. I will stop, you know, I, I will give you more anesthesia. I'm not gonna keep working. You have to let the, the anxious dental patient know that, that you are there for them. It's not solely about getting something done, no matter how long it may take. You know, I've had a patient where a simple procedure, just like a filling, may take 45 minutes, simply because the patient is anxious and I'm not gonna rush that patient or, or just hurry through it, through it to get done. And, you know, and I go into another room, do the same procedure on a different patient, and it literally may take 10 or 15 minutes. So catering to the patient's need is the most important thing, in my opinion, to help relieve some of the anxiety.